In the stick shift world, the TKX transmission is the death of the TKO transmission. There I said it. Stick around, find out why. why they call it God's country. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan, this is Neil Mustangs, and this is my Fox Body Mustang channel. Today we're gonna dive into that very conversation that you've been waiting for. Is the TKX really that good, or am I bullshitting you? I wanna give a shout out to Handle Motorsports. Handle Motorsports is a partner, sponsor brand, but this is where I got the TKX from. Guys, I brought you the playlist. We've got over 10 videos of, of us testing the TKX. The un unboxing, my first impressions, the install, the first miles on it, the break-in period, dyno, track, street, draggy, and the list goes on and on. Guys, I, I, I no bullshit tested this transmission and brought everything to you right in front of you. You didn't even see the 1500 street miles that I put on it on camera. So to give you guys an idea, we actually took our T56 Magnum out of this car, which is a better transmission, right? Just so we could test the TKX. Cause I was gonna break that thing and I tried. But after putting down 20 track passes, 10 dyno sessions or pulls, I should say, at 650 plus wheel, 1500 miles on the street. And that thing shifts better than it ever did. When I first put it in, I'm just sold on it. And you should be too. Again, guys, I'm not getting paid to tell you this. I gave you a review of the, of the TKX because I was super interested to see how much you know horsepower and how much power and in, 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 in abuse that it could really take. I think the TKX, to be honest with you, the TKX is just the apology for uh, from Tremec saying that they really, you know, we're sorry. Now, is what I'm talking about today gonna make people upset? Yeah, I apologize. Sorry, but not sorry. I would rather give you guys a raw, real deal test and opinions of something that I'm testing than give you something that's skewed just to try to sell you on it. You know what I mean? Because this is not the way I am. Let's do a quick review on what actually happened. So, Got a 1990 Fox body, 363 stroker with a turbo kit, make 650 plus wheel, 3,500 pounds, 3,400 race weight. All I did was put my slicks on. Uh, shifting at 7,000, 20 different track passes, uh, lots of 10 O's and 10 teens. Finally put the two-step in with a 13360, went 980 at 140 uh, at 12 pounds. I mean, my 363 was just getting started at that point, really. <laughs> I couldn't test it any better, guys. I mean, I, shifted that thing hard power shifted it i shifted it without a clutch in one of the ride along videos um, this transmission has been through war with me and i'm gonna be honest with you it just keeps getting better <laughs> now if you guys actually do a little bit of homework on your tkx you'll know that the, th uh, the third gear is bigger in the tkx than it is in the tko a lot of the design is easier uh, lighter, uh, shifts like a T5. Dude, I still got the stock base in that transmission and it shifts really well. Definitely a long throw, but it's a definite throw. And it's not near as notchy as the TKO is. I'm telling you, the TKX is the death of the TKO. If you buy a TKX, you will not be disappointed. Here's a really killer part. And this may be a selling point to you. I have driven the, down the track 20 times in this car. I didn't miss a gear once. Speed shifting, power shifting, whatever. You do, if I, my TKO, when I used to race my TKO 600, 500, I would miss a gear every other pass, every third pass. It was terrible, terrible, just notchy. Even when I babied the damn clutch. So much at, at one point at, with my TKO, I got so mad at trying to shift the damn thing that I just shipped both of them off the Liberty and had them face plated. I was through with them. I was done with them. TKX is shifts better than a T5. There, I said that too. Shifts better than a T5. Trust me, ask me how I know. All right, so let's talk about one more other subject that you're gonna wanna hear about now too. And you're definitely gonna get to hear this. There's a lot of people asking this question. 
Is the TKX better than the T56 Magnum? That, my friends, is a tough question. But I'm gonna answer it the best I can. And then we're gonna give you some final thoughts and then we're gonna be done with this video. When I had the T56 in my black car here, it shifted great. The one thing I didn't like about the T56, or the one thing that I had to get used to, is it had a really tight shifter gate. I put a handling shifter on it. I knew it was a badass trans and it was gonna hold all the power, so I didn't have to worry about that. So I had an aggressive twin disc clutch, which is the same twin disc clutch that I used on the TKX, the RX DHD, McLeod. But the, the shifter gate was real tight because there's six gears plus a reverse there. You see what I mean? So you're going to have that. But the nice thing about the TKX was it was just a definite like four gears. It was just, you know, first was here, second was here. And even though it had a longer throw, third was way up in the corner, fourth was down. So I didn't have a problem shifting it. It was very distinct. And I shifted it hard and I shifted it at higher RPMs. And for street driving, I, had a, I didn't have a problem shifting it either. I enjoyed shifting the hell out of it. Matter of fact, if you got caught in the RPMs right, you could actually shift the thing without actually having a, uh, using the clutch at all. And it didn't even grind. But don't do that at home. That's, I can't tell you enough how much fun I've had with the TKX. So much that we're gonna leave the TKX in the black car because we are going to be testing the new Vengeance Twin Disc Clutch for the Fox Body next season. I was given this Twin Disc to test from Chris at Vengeance Clutch. So we're gonna rock that thing and we're gonna test it just like we did with the TKX and we're gonna test it pretty much at the power level that they suggest. So what's that mean for my T56? Let me explain and it will be done with this video. The TKX shifted very sequential. First gear, second gear, uh, first gear shifted at 3,000, 3, shifted it went to 22. Third gear shifted, or second gear shifted at 3,000, third gear went to 22. You see what I mean? Sequential you know, shifted properly. The one thing I hated about my T56 is I was always caught daily driving in between gears. Some of you Magnum people may know it, may know what I'm talking about. I got 355 gear rear end, 297 first gear, the T56, but it always seemed like I was caught between third and fourth. Like I would shift at 3000 RPM at around third gear and then I would shift the fourth and it would go like right to like 1500 or 1200. It was like terrible. It had the, the drive shaft moan. You know what I mean? Like, you see what I mean? It just, <laughs> so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the 327 first gear in this car for now. And we're gonna test the twin disc vengeance clutch with the black car. We're gonna turn the car up with a bigger turbo. I got an 8096 here. We're gonna stick on the turbo kit and we're gonna make a little bit more power. And then we're just gonna see how much this TKX and that twin disc can actually really take. You know what I mean? Because this is real deal testing. Sorry I rambled on for this video. Let's come to a conclusion. Is the TKX worth buying? Yes. Is it a buy or is it a bust? I think TKX is probably one of the best mods that you can buy right now. I think the TKO has served its purpose and I think it's time to let that thing go. As for the T56 Magnum, Still one of the best, if not the best, stick shift transmission, period. It's heavy, it's robust, it, it, can, it can handle some serious power. So it's still your king. But this TKX is definitely underrated. And I've proven it with my black car. This car wasn't light, at least in the Fox body world. But again, GMs and Mopars are a little bit heavier from what I understand. So it may not be as good. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll give you my just my raw opinion about the TKX. The TKX is the death of the TKO, and it definitely rivals the T56 Magnum. I don't think it could outpower the T56 Magnum, but for a lot of you guys out there that are running in that five, 600 horsepower range, naturally aspirated or small boost, this is definitely the transmission for you. But guys, we're gonna continue to test the transmission with the new clutch. So if you guys wanna stick around, hit that like and subscribe below and hit that bell for notifications so you get notified when we upload videos like that. <laughs> if you're interested in, in being part of a club membership, check out the join button below, give something back to the channel. But outside of that, guys, I appreciate the watch time. Guys, I just appreciate you listening to me ramble. It's a long video, but the TKX is bad as hell. We tried to break it and we failed. It is what it is. We'll see what happens in the future. Stick around. Thanks for watching. Why they call it God's country?